Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. We're at Google I.O. 2016 in Mountain View and can finally take a closer look at the Google car, the self-driving car. You know what, let's just start right at the front. It kind of looks like it has a face, like this dog from Muppet Show. What was his name? Rudolph? Is his name Rudolph? Just leave me a comment down below. I, I just can't remember it anymore. So look at this. First of all, the nose basically is, should be full of sensors, even cameras. So it's just constantly checking what's happening right in front of the car and especially measuring the distance between the Google car and a car that is driving ahead. More sensors to come right behind the windshield over here on the left side and on the right side. I'm pretty sure that this is um, for the lane assist. So it's just constantly measuring the distance between you and you know what, the other side of the road or the edge of the road. On top of it, we have a 360 degree camera, which is of course also processing lots of data, you know, constantly. Let's try to, let's try to walk around here. And then I'm going to show you a little bit more from the inside. So first of all, can't tell you anything about these two buttons over here, but obviously they have speakers in here, so therefore maybe you can connect to a Google Play Music. There are pedals in here, so this is a, obviously, I would guess it's a brake pedal in the middle, and then we just, you know, you have the gas pedal to accelerate if you want to do that, but obviously it's missing a steering wheel so we have a 10 inch screen here on the right side and this should be like a five to seven inch one and then there's a central one central dashboard here right what's also interesting here look at all these buttons here there's definitely a red emergency button and i also want to you know lower lower the windows on the side but besides that oh there's a rear mirror. Interesting, huh? Besides that, safety belts. That makes sense. These tiny wheels here. Let's walk around here. And there's another sensor on the back. Which should probably do the same things as the one on the front that looks a little bit like a nose. Let's take a look at this license plate here, which is quite interesting. It says uh, California Occupational License. So, what does that mean? Does it mean that it belongs to the state of California or whatever? That's quite interesting to see that. Ooh. So, I thought this was an, this was an electric... Ah, here we go. So this is where it can recharge it. Huh? Quite interesting concept. This was a quick and dirty walk around of the Google car. Um, but to really show you how it looks like when someone drives around with it, you know, let's just check this out. You know, the first drive on public roads is something that we've been thinking about and every moment has been building towards putting these cars on the roads where we can start learning even more from them. When you look at the car that came out around Christmas was the first vehicle that had kind of everything integrated and was kind of our first push through our manufacturing line. We've now been able to take that, do some reliability testing with it, and to make sure that everything really hangs together the way it's supposed to before we get them out onto, onto the roads. We've made the car hot, we've made the car cold, we've done durability testing, we drive it through a reliability bump track. Getting these cars out into the public and allowing people to react to them, allowing us to see them out there, I think that's a huge deal. And, and most importantly, it's, it's the necessary step to getting them to drive themselves. When we think about safety, when we think about giving people mobility, and then when you start to think longer term about the impact on cities and the ability to reclaim space and to reduce congestion and free up parking, this is something where we can have a huge impact. It's, it's exciting to see the arc of this project as it's moved to something that's starting to be realized and then you know the next step where we get to start to see people using it, really, that'll be just fantastic. What? <laughs>